What's up, people? It's Tasha doing a hot topic. Today's hot topic is not only teen pregnancy, but also pressures on teenagers and having sex today. Okay. Frankly, gonna be honest with people, didn't lose my virginity till I was 19 years old, and I am damn proud of that. Women today, especially young teenage girls, are under more pressure than ever in America to have sex at an early age. And it's ridiculous because they are but babies now. I have seen 12, I have seen 13 and 14 year olds becoming pregnant because they are so pressurized to have sex at an early age. And it's fucked up that our society is that way towards women again. Another thing, media makes it seem as if it's okay to have babies at such an early age whenever one, their bodies are not fully developed and cannot cope with it. They are not financially stable, they are not emotionally stable, and frankly, the boyfriend or whoever the father is, is only a child themselves and cannot take care of themselves, much less another baby. In the United States, has the highest rates of teen pregnancy and births in the Western industri the industrialized world. Teen pregnancy costs the U.S. at least $7 billion annually. 34% of young women become pregnant at least once before they reach the age of 20, about 820,000 a year. 8 in 10 of these teen pregnancies are unintended and 79% are to, to unmarried teens. This is a huge problem in the U.S. I know some people have heard of this show, Teen Mom. To me, that's not fucking right. They are putting it... They're publicizing it and saying it's okay to get fucked up and knocked up because your mommy and daddy will take care of the baby. For many people, that's not the case. For many people, if you get fucking knocked up, your mommy and daddy are probably going to kick your ass out and then guess what? What's that baby going to do? It's better yet, there are those who, instead of being adults and taking the consequences of having sex without a condom or having sex when they're not ready to abort the baby. I'm sorry. There are some reasons. I just can't see why people would get an abortion. I just, I really don't. I understand women who have been raped wanting to have an abortion, but women who just, girls who agree to have sex and get pregnant and are surprised and just don't want to deal with the consequences of it, no. It's fucked up. I don't believe they have the right to have an abortion at doing that. And one, honestly, teen pregnancy is on the rise recently. I mean, my brother, he's a teen parent. I mean, he was 18 or 19 whenever he had his baby. I can't remember. My brain's not functioning. But... It's not fucking hard for some people to teach their kids about contraception. Girls, if they are sexually active already, it's not fucking hard for their parents to stick them on the pill. It's not that expensive. It's not where they can buy condoms to prevent it. There are some girls who decide to have sex in order to keep a boy in a relationship with them. And you know, if your fucking relationship is already on the rocks, guess what? A baby's not going to make it any better. It's going to make it a lot harder. Again, girls are under pressure as far as with the media and everything like that to have sex at an early age. And it's ridiculous because these are kids having kids now. It's fucked up. And there is a solution for it. That's just it. Some schools will not teach about contraception at all. And with the teen pregnancy to be on the rise, I believe it should be taught more often. And if not at an earlier age now, you know, and yes, there is some fault to the parents for not teaching your kid to fucking wear a goddamn condom or to get on the pill. Again, especially with how kids are now. It is ridiculous that it's seen as acceptable, in my opinion, that it's okay for 14 and 16 and 17 year old kids to have babies. They have no idea on how hard it is to raise a child. Because guess what? When they're pregnant, 
they're thinking about them and only them. They're not thinking of the baby. And they don't seem to realize is once they have a baby, it has nothing to do with them. Not a damn thing. It doesn't matter if you want to go out. It doesn't matter if you want those new shoes. It doesn't matter. You want to go get your hair done. You know what matters? Does your baby have food? Does your baby have... It's baby water because there is a specific type of fucking water you have to give your baby for a very long time does your baby have diapers is your baby on wick do you have insurance can you afford everything to take care of your baby is your baby healthy you have to put that baby first and teenagers do not understand that it is fucking ridiculous that there are babies having babies that are not ready and that is why you know I believe that media needs to seriously fucking lay off on targeting girls as sex symbols, especially younger girls. Miley Cyrus, fucking whore. I don't care what anyone says. You can bash this video all you want. She is a fucking child idol. I don't care if she's trying to make the transition of being a fucking child star to an adult star. If you are already originally a child star, you know the consequences, and you know that these children look up to you, so why would you go around parading yourself around to be promiscuous, and to be doing drugs, and to be doing all this and this and this and this? It's not right. You know for a fact that you are still an idol for children. Children look up to you, and children will copy exactly as you do. You know, Britney Spears, yes, she was a teen star. And when Britney Spears was very popular, girls started trying to look like her and be sexual like her. It was wrong. More celebrities are fucking targeting our children to look and act grown when in fact they aren't grown. I mean, it's just, I might be rambling, but you know, it's just, it fucking pisses me off to no end that these celebrities they do have an influence on our children and our children now are wanting to have sex at an earlier age and are getting pregnant at an earlier age than what they could possibly be ready for it's ridiculous and a solution a solution i believe is to one if you're a fucking teen star act like a fucking adult at least and think not only for yourself but for the, your followers and for your fans, the people who make you who you are, and the people who fucking you are the reason you are famous to begin with, make sure that you're not fucking rubbing off in the wrong way. Parents, teach your children about contraception. Give them the talk at an early age. I understand it can be uncomfortable because you know when I got the talk, it was uncomfortable. I am not gonna fucking lie. But you know what? It will help a shitload. Would you rather your kid know? beforehand or would you rather they get knocked up and find out the hard way schools they should fucking hand out condoms teenagers are sexually active we know this but to prevent pregnancy is the issue and yes I understand that regardless there are going to be kids that are going to have sex at an early age when they don't want to it pisses me off to no end that the media is targeting women this way and that the women have to be constantly portrayed as sex symbols it's ridiculous it pisses me off women constantly have to fucking do this why why anyway schools teach sex ed teach how to prevent teen pregnancy show fuck bring in teen moms who understand the struggle to talk to other teenagers to make sure that they fully comprehend. You know what? It's not fucking easy. It's not a game. Once you have a baby, once you get pregnant, it has nothing to do with you. No one gives a shit about you. It's about the baby. Point blank. You know, I mean, hand out condoms. Get your kids on the pill. Do what you have to do in order to prevent this because, you know, this is a problem. It's a huge problem. It's abortion rate it goes up adoption rate it goes up i am you know okay if they adopt their child out to families who need babies who can't have babies but when they shouldn't be having babies to begin with because they're too fucking young they don't understand their bodies are not developed for this yet and it's still it's just oh sorry hot topic for a reason it pisses me off anyways 
probably gonna go now because you know what? I'm getting too steamed up about this one and I'm rambling now. Anyway, teenagers, please get on condom. You know, get condoms, get on the pill. Do something to prevent yourself from getting pregnant because guess what? Withdrawal does not work. <laughs> At least not all the time. And don't ever, 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 ever have sex on your period and think you're not going to get pregnant. That is a fucking myth. Not only that, it's kind of really dirty. But it's a myth. The only way to completely prevent pregnancy is abstinence. But I'm not going to say, you know, be abstinent as a realistic thing. Because not everyone is going to be abstinent. If you want to be abstinent, good for you. That is the right way to go. But there are other ways to prevent getting pregnant if you're going to have sex. Don't have sex before you're fucking ready for one. Don't have sex just because he says to. Same for guys. Don't have sex just because she's pressuring you or just because you're pressured by other guys to have sex at an early age. Have sex when you're ready. Wait. It will be worth it, trust me, because you know what? I have talked to many, many women my age. And they have had sex when they were 15 and 16 and regret it by far. Me? No. I will never, ever regret waiting until I was 19 to have sex. I'm freaking very proud that I did, as a matter of fact. But, anyway. Use condoms. Get contraceptives. Don't fucking believe anything that a guy tells you as far as, you know, oh, withdrawal. No, it doesn't work. Same as girls. Guys don't believe them if they say that, you know, having sex on their period prevents pregnancy. No, it doesn't. Actually, it can become... For some women, they can be more fertile depending on around the time. But, anyway, gonna go. People. Peace. Laters.